Hello and welcome. I'm here today to talk to you about the Climate Action Countdown, an amazing month of climate action that we need you to get involved with. The Climate Action Countdown is 29 days of climate challenges that bring together lots of different organisations to show you what you can do to help the future of your school, community and planet. So why do we need to do this? Well, firstly, because we know that the climate is changing. Over the past 160 years, we've seen a 1.2 degrees Celsius increase in global average temperatures. But what exactly does that mean? Well, that means across the world, temperatures are rising. But this isn't spread evenly. And in different places and at different times, that increase can feel like much more. 1.2 degrees Celsius can also lead to profound shifts in the Earth's natural water and carbon cycles. And we are seeing evidence of these shifts more and more often with wildfires, droughts, floods and the associated human crises in our news on what can seem like a daily basis. 1.2 sounds pretty small. That's one of the problems with the climate and nature crisis. It just doesn't sound very scary in itself. But the future amount of warming could be much higher. And that depends on how we, us, you, this school community, address climate change today. This graphic is called the warming stripes and it shows that temperature increase. It also shows how the future isn't yet written. It lies in the choices we make today. If business continues as usual, that is, if we keep doing what we're doing today, then we're set for lots more warming and quite a different world. But we have the chance to choose a different future and we can start making that choice today. Fundamentally, we need to start reducing our emissions of greenhouse gases. These are gases such as carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide, which, when released into our atmosphere, act as a blanket trapping heat around the Earth and causing it to warm. This is a process we call global warming. It's a little bit more complicated than this, though. Although global temperatures are increasing overall, this rise isn't felt evenly all over the world. Some places, such as the Arctic, are warming faster than others. And in other parts of the world, changes in ocean currents and wind patterns might actually cause temperatures to drop. This is why we call this process climate change. It can affect different places in different ways. To stop this process becoming even worse, we need to find ways to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions while capturing those already in the atmosphere by protecting the Earth's natural carbon sinks, such as forests and oceans. It's not just temperature. The way we live has also massively reduced global biodiversity, the number and variety of plants and animals that we share our planet with. We know that this biodiversity supports our life on Earth in numerous ways. It provides us with the food we eat. It recycles our nutrients to create the soil we depend on, creates the oxygen that enriches our atmosphere. It recycles and cleans our water. And it's also our bank of genetic diversity that we rely on for new medicines to heal us. We're a part of nature and our very lives depend on it. Protecting and caring for nature is protecting and caring for ourselves. It's our responsibility as citizens of this planet, our home, to protect nature so that future generations can benefit from these amazing goods and services in the same way that we do today. Now, which sounds better? Business as usual, with fragmented climate actions, inaction and unsustainable actions continuing? This is the way we're currently choosing to live as a society and there will be serious impacts because of this, a potential world of climate impacts and poor health. Or would you prefer transformative climate actions, societal change for a happier and healthier world for everyone, where the way we live actively makes the world a better place through the way we travel, how we get our energy and the things we do for work. This would create a lush, vibrant world full of colour. Well, that all depends on you and the change you want to see. So how does change happen? Change takes energy and focus. There's a lot of research in how this happens and what we can do to accelerate it. We can break the world down into individuals like you and me, collectives like this school and systems like laws and the economy. People always question the importance of individual change and our personal behaviours and if we should focus on wider system change. They wonder if making a change ourselves is even worth it. 
but maybe it's not an either or answer. Maybe we need both. There are lots of good arguments for why individual change alone is not enough, but it is a great place to start and something we have control over. Moreover, individual change is really important because it communicates the type of world we want to live in and it shows leadership that can influence other people. By acting as a role model through your own behaviour and choices, you can inspire others to follow suit and take action too. Humans are social beings and relationships are the most important part of our lives. Individuals naturally group together around a place or an idea. Talk to anyone engaged in climate action and they'll tell you it's the people and relationships they make that are key to changing the world. These groups then have the energy and skill to call for wider system change. We might think of these as campaign groups, but they could be a school, a football club or a community group, anywhere where people join together. System change can only happen through collective effort and we can think of key moments throughout history like women's rights and civil rights where this has happened. Ultimately, the system then influences the collective and the individual. An example of this is the plastic bag charge, which changed the behaviours of millions of people after groups campaigned for it to be brought in. System change is possible when enough people share an understanding of a problem, have a similar view on what needs to change and take a coordinated journey in the same direction. Here's a quote from Margaret Mead. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. We have far more power than we may think we have. You have far more power than you may think you have. So the Climate Action Countdown is a month of action bringing together the best ideas and actions from a variety of climate action organisations. It's a month where we can all work together to create change. It's a month where you as an individual and we as a school community can take part in activities that signal our commitment to wider system change and a better, more sustainable tomorrow for us all. Now, sustainability can be a really complicated idea, but we can simplify it for schools by breaking it down into eight key areas. Energy and transport and food make up 80% of our carbon emissions and impact on the rest of nature. If we focus our action in these areas, we can have the greatest impact. So what could you do? Well, the Climate Action Countdown calendar has loads of ways you can start to take small steps to addressing these areas and creating a more sustainable world with lower carbon emissions that are causing our climate change issue. Let's have a closer look at our Climate Action Countdown. There are events in the calendar that will appeal to everyone, whether it's nature and gardening, food, waste, water, turning things off, or turning up in style. The countdown has everything from gazing up at the stars to writing a manifesto for making the changes you need right in front of you. The third annual Running Out of Time Climate Relay takes place between the 6th of June and the 4th of July. It will cover 2,500 kilometres from Ben Nevis to Big Ben and will include 200 stages and 80 plus visits to climate and nature projects, sporting bodies and venues, schools, events and iconic locations. The Relay is a proud supporter of Let's Go Zero and the Climate Action Countdown and will be spearheading the campaign to deliver climate assemblies to schools and students around the country. You'll have time in your classes to look at the calendar and discuss which actions you'd like to take part in. These activities have been designed to be carried out at school, at home, with your friends and community groups and everywhere in between. So don't just stop at what you'll be doing in school. Get involved and take some climate action. Remember, your actions can make a big difference.